This is Twit. Let's go on to the Enterprise Byte number three. And this is, a, again, this is a story that I've been holding in my back pocket for a while. I really, really like it because uh, it's, it strikes at the heart of what I, as an engineer, a guy who puts together things like Interop, uh, I fear the most. And that is the story from InfoWorld about how a $1 part brought down a multi-million dollar data center. Now, uh, you, you got to read this. We're going to make sure it ends up in the show notes. But the, the really cool thing about this story is that you've got this state-of-the-art data center using IBM parts. And it's got, it's got the greatest and the latest of everything. It's supposed to have double, triple, quadruple redundancy. And even with all of this super high tech, there's one part, one worn sensor that when they close the rack door, it shuts the whole data center down. It's a, it's a great story of how technology can actually fight itself. Uh, let, let me give you a synopsis. You've got this uh, this data center administrator who's bringing in IBM techs because they can't figure out why they're getting faults in in their logs. And the IBM techs are explaining to them, look, this is impossible. This The system that we created for you, it can't go down. It can't shut down. The tech comes over, opens up the door, looks at everything, plugs in his laptop, says, see, everything's fine. And when he closes the door, boom, everything shuts off. What they find out is that it was an environmental sensor in the door that because it had shorted, it was actually sending a signal to the environmental controls telling the rack, you're on fire. <laughs> That's right. So the rack thought it was on fire. So it did what any rack should do. And that is it smashed everything in order to try to preserve the equipment that was left. Lou, we hear stories like this every once in a while, but they almost become myth. There, there is this expectation as we move more and more into the cloud, as we mo move more and more into redundant systems, that no single part can take down what I've built. Stories like this kind of bring us back down to earth. Have you heard of anything similar at, say, the Microsoft campus? <laughs> I mean, obviously, heat is the number one violator of, of killing any type of storage-based system or any type of server-based system in, in, in the area. So, I mean, we, we have had issues where, you know, these small little sensors you know, maybe th there's a light too close to them and, you know, the, the coolant system kind of like overkills and ends up c killing the power in a data center. And I have seen that before. So, I mean, there's there's still issues around that. And, you know, obviously these fail safe systems or the, the fail over systems are kind of there for a purpose. And so it, it's tough. It's, it's like testing. It's like an unknown testing environment sort of thing. And you can just have to throw it in all types of situations. Right, right. Well, that's that's the, the sort of catch-22, and that is if you've built the smarts into the system to be able to anticipate any particular problem that might occur in a data center, fire, flood, surge, whatever, you also have to build smarts into the system to trust the sensor data that it's receiving. Well, if the sensor data itself is faulty, then the, the system can eat itself. Uh, Derek, you've also worked on large systems before. Uh, you know, the, the common term is, is garbage in, garbage out. If, if I'm getting bad data, I'm going to make bad decisions. What can we do to try to mitigate that? I mean, is there a way to, to, to keep a $1 part from bringing down a, multi, a multi-million dollar data center? Or is this just where we can expect human intervention to be needed? I'd say we need failover at that point, fall back, check other sensors. And my, in this case, we can make rats, redundant array of temperature sensors. Mm -hmm. uh, rat, rats? Tell me about your rats. <laughs> <laughs> more more than one sensor on the door, say on the back door, that should not have happened at that scale, right. really. Right. Yeah, I actually, uh, you know, and it, again, this is one of those hindsight things where you, you think, well, if you have a command, if you have the ability to smash a rack, to bring it completely down, you probably should have had it check on a couple of other sensors first. You know, okay. look out the rack, look outside of the rack, say, are any of the other temperatures also showing me that they're on fire? Because if they're not, there's probably no fire in the data center. But again... That's not something that we know until it's actually happened. Um, right. And, you know, Lou... Sometimes too fast. Exactly. Too fast. Yep. Too fast. Yep.